Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 6. Today is episode number 21. If you guys do want to keep up to date with what is going on on the Mechanic CG channel, then make sure to go down in the description and check out all of our social links. We've got Discord, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, and if you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button, that subscribe button, all that like button. And hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be driving this custom Mazda RX-7. Uh, so we have 599 brake horsepower in this. Performance points is at 593. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing the Tuned Car Festival. We're starting off at Apricot Hill Raceway. Moving on to the Daytona Road Course and then to the Cape Ring Circuit. Let's get right into this. Oh, what are our typical cars, though? Okay, so we got the Mine Skyline, a Red Devil, I don't know what that is, and the 1974 Ford Mustang Trans Camera. That, uh, the Garage Tuning gar the Grand Touring Garage, that Mustang was in GT5, and that was an awesome car. So I'm looking forward to this. Let's see. GT6, give me some good opponents. Ones that are challenging, but still let me win. Let's see, let's see, let's see. We are in luck. Okay, so we got the 1970 Transcam. Um, we've also got a Lancer Evo 6. Interesting. A Nismo Superleggera. That is a tune car and a half. Right, we are here at the Apricot Hill Raceway in our tuned RX-7. It is night time. And it looks like we got day and night cycle on as well, so... Holy crap. Okay, this car is powerful. Out of the way. Come on. Stay out of the way. Perfect. Here we go. We got the Nismo Superleggera up in front. Perfect. Oh, we got another um, RX-7 like us. And that is the Gran Turismo pace car from... I think Gran Turismo 1, to be honest. I feel like that pace car's been in... Because it's on Gran Turismo PSP. I've been playing a lot of the uh, PSP version of Gran Turismo lately, so... It's actually a really good game. They did a really good job of Gran Turismo PSP. Nice. And squeezing past. Lovely. There's the S2000, the first place car at the moment. Squeeze past you. Nice. Come on, come on. Do not let them beat us. Nice. Right, coming up to the hairpin corner. This is probably the most brightly lit corner in the entire of this track. I think it's the only corner where you can actually see the track before the, your lights can see the corner. It's ridiculous. I do love this track so much, though. I don't think Gran Turismo PSP had uh, day and night cycles, though. Awesome. I have a feeling Gran Turismo... S oh, whoa, that was terrible. I have a feeling Gran Turismo 6, they just added everything from every single Gran Turismo. 
But like, obviously, Gran Turismo 5, they sort of had uh, a couple of new tracks and that. But they mostly just ripped most of the cars from other games. Whereas this, it seems like they've just remastered everything. Gran Turismo 6 is almost like a Gran Turismo 5 remaster. It's just so much better in every way. And like, I can physically play this game. Unlike Gran Turismo 5, where I got very stressed out very frequently. Hopefully the um, International A series isn't going to be too difficult. Because I have seen the... Um, oh, I have seen the Like a Wind mission is back in this game. Um, and that's an absolute nightmare to finish. I know a lot of people take the uh, Suzuki uh, Pikes Peak car because it's a monster of a vehicle. Awesome. First corner very nicely there. There we go, nice. Ran that long sweeping corner. I'm trying to aim for better than a 124. Awesome. Perfect. Right, come on, come on. Give us a good time. Oh, we did beat it, but only just. By about 0.2 seconds. That was very good. 5 minutes, 44.8 for a final time there. What is the next track? I honestly can't remember. I keep forgetting the tracks. Normally I can remember all this stuff, but today... I mean, normally I can't even remember it anyways, so... But we are going... Oh, Daytona. Yes, that's a very good track. I do like Daytona. Uh, so we are looking at same cars as before. Let's enter. Three laps of Daytona. I wish Cape Ring would have been uh, three laps as well. Because Cape Ring is an amazing track and I want to enjoy that. But we've got ourselves an S2000. We've got ourselves a Skyline GTR. We've got a couple of other cars as well. Uh, a FT86. So that was the uh, GT86 concept. And here we go. Daytona. Let's do this. Oh! Woo! That was close. What are you doing? What are you doing? What was that? Unbelievable. We're now in last place. Right, hopefully we can get those positions back. That was ridiculous though. The car just swerved into my path. Complete disregard of my presence right next to him. If you do it again, oh my god. Can we, like, speak to the board about that driver? Should get compensation for his 
uh, unsportsmanlike conduct there. We are zooming past, though, with our modified RX-7. Can only hit 180, though. The car has the capacity to go faster. It's just the engine revs are the limiting factor. And also not shifting up. That's also a limiting factor. Perfect. One fifty nine point two. Awesome. Oh, is this the Nissan from um I recognize this one. Is it though? Hang on, wait for it to drive around. It is. It's the Nissan that I have on the Gran Turismo PSP. Quite a nice car actually, very powerful. It's a good thing that um, Gran Turismo do use all these cars. It's a very good thing that they reuse them. Like, normally you get sort of like pissed off if they reuse it, but they reuse it in such a way that it's just like, it doesn't matter, almost. Like, it is awesome to be able to drive those old classic cars. I call them classics, they're not classics, but like, they are. Awesome. Cruising through here. Coming around the long sweeping corner with an eight second lead right now. Just roll. Just gradually roll to the next corner now. Oh, yeah, messed up that corner. Not great. Not proud of that one at all. Come on, come on, come on. Very nice. Coming around the long sweeping corner. Second to last sweeping corner for this race. Terrible corner, terrible exit there. And here we go, across the line. Meow. Woo! Five minutes and 42.7 seconds. Ooh. Very good time. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm loving it. 19,000 credits for that race. Three stars. I will take everything. 
Right, let's exit and go to the final race, which is going to be the Cape Ring. I love Cape Ring so much. Honestly, Cape Ring is one of the best tracks out there. And we're going to see exactly who we are going against again. Let's see. Cape Ring. Obviously, Cape Ring's famous for that bridge section. The uh, spiral bridge. Also, we got an R34. We got the Skyline pace car again. We got a, another R34 touring car sort of thing. Uh, 350Z, S2000. Can you not skip? Uh, a car... Uh, G37. I wonder what that is. Actually, I think that's a... Um, Insignia. And then there's also a Carbon R R34. I wonder what that is. Here we go. Cape Ring. Coming to the start line. And across we go. Alright, let's do this. Nice. There's the uh, R34 pace car in front of us. And yeah, there's your... I don't know. It's not an insignia, but what is it? I can't remember what it is. But that is the Carbon R. Holy crap. Okay, control. Back under control, please. Massive slide of the rear tyres there. See, I don't know why, but I'd love to do like a 24-hour race on this track. Just because, I mean, the track is in a very small space. It's not like the track takes up a large space. But it's a long race. Like, it's just awesome. Oh. Let's get back onto the track. Awesome. I'm really looking forward to the um, sort of super long races, the uh, 24 minute races. Unbelievable. How do we lose control there? I wonder what the interior is like for this car. The engine sounds really good. I will admit that right now. And I can't see the interior. Too dark. Great. High flyer. Oh, nice. Trophy time. To be fair, this is the first time we've been on Cape Ring, I think. There's so many tracks in this game, you'll probably only go on one track, like, once every single uh, Super Series. Like the Super Series, the International A, International B. You'll only probably drive a track once in each of those. Awesome. Coming on to the main straight. Nearly three minutes per lap. I feel like this episode is going to be a little bit short. Um, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Awesome. Come on, come on, come on. Perfect. Let's get around this first corner. Stay on the track, stay on the track. We can... Ah! So close. 
I tried so hard and got so far. But in the end, it didn't matter. Because we still went off the track. Right, come on, come on. I didn't actually notice our time was 2 minutes 50.999 Nice The, t the tears? The tires are very hot right now I don't think we could have actually jumped any higher than that. I'm looking forward to seeing Cape Ring come back to Gran Turismo though. Like, we all know um, Gran Turismo 7, Trial Mountain and that's back. Which I can only presume is going to mean the original tracks are all coming back. Which means Cape Ring. Egan Orwand needs to come back. And a couple of others. I can't remember them all. Uh, Deep Forest Raceway. Better come back. Because that's good. And let's go off-roading. 2 minutes 46 for that final lap. We didn't save much time. But then again, um, that is a very difficult track. I didn't get to see my final time. I skipped it too soon. Uh, but 19,000 though. And we've got more money than when we started this episode. So that's a plus. That's always a plus. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date on the Mechanic CG channel, then be sure to check out the description for our social links. We've got Twitter, Discord and Instagram if you want to go check all of those out. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button. Or you can go and grab yourself some merch. Either would mean the world to me. But thank you guys so much for watching. Peace. I know